Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm putting a speedometer cable in my 88. Um, so what I've run into and it's kind of been an off and on thing with my car, um, the speedometer. Anybody that's had a Fox body, like the real common thing is it'll, the needle will, will skip, will jump. And um, a lot of times, nine times out of 10, it's just the spellometer cable will be dry and um, sometimes you can take them apart. The core will pull out of them. Uh, that piece, this is the end that goes into the transmission, um, the speedometer cable, actually the cruise control vehicle speed sensor because uh, this car had cruise originally. So this will go into the, the VSS and this end goes up into your speedometer. And um, I put one in this car probably like six or seven years ago and it never really fixed it. Um, and I think a lot of it was because it was a aftermarket cable and that's kind of what you're stuck with. But there's a couple of things you can do um, to try to fix that. One of those is making sure um, that this inner core it'll just slide in it just slides in and out um, making sure that inner core has a lubricant on it it'll just you know it shoves in through this way because there's a, a little knock on the inside of there probably can't see inside that but there's a little uh, like a knock on that so it can't go in the other way so you pull that all the way out and uh, you'll put some grease on it a lot of guys will use like a graphite lubricant if you can find a graphite grease is pretty good um a lot of these cables actually this is a new one i just bought because i didn't want to mess around with the old one because i figured it was so dry you know it's probably torn up the inside of the sleeve so just didn't feel like messing with it so i ordered this one and instead of a pioneer this time i got a it's an a atp and it's kind of, I don't know, you know, it, it probably doesn't matter any. They're all, like you can see right here on this one, I think they're all, uh, they're all junk made in Taiwan, you know. It could be worse, I guess. It could be made in China, but, um, I don't know anybody that makes a good one. Like, an, you know, an American one that would probably have a nice sleeve inside of it, so you're kind of stuck with what you're going to get, but... I wanted to try this one this time because I knew the Pioneer one I put in last time wasn't wasn't any good. So uh, this one came with a tube of grease. I've already taken this all apart and and greased it and put it back in. You just want to make sure that you don't get any grease on the on the tips of it. Okay, so as I'm feeding it through, I'll put a little grease on there. And uh, but like the Pioneer one I got, it didn't come with any grease. So um, and they didn't grease it. So what I like to use, um, I got a tube of that. So if yours doesn't come with it, it's a ceramic grease, like for brakes. Seems to work pretty good. I've used it in the past and it worked. So um, it's just a pain in the butt. I've, I kind of got to the point where I wanted to do other things with the car and it didn't didn't bother me that much, the, the little bit of a flutter. But now that I'm waiting, I want some other things to happen. Um, I thought I'd try to fix this that and I want to make sure that my uh, my cluster was good and the reason that is because I'm probably going to get rid of this cluster I'm going to move to a digital cluster and as you can see this one it's got the Motorsport 160 and uh, it's uh, 89 and earlier so non airbag so the difference there if you see one and it's cut out right here that's uh, that's for 90 and, and newer that's uh that's cut out so for an airbag car so um i just wanted to make sure that this was going to be good because um these are worth quite a bit of money and uh i don't like selling something to anybody that i don't know is 100 percent before i get rid of it so i'm going to go ahead and, and i want to get by this summer anyway with using this cluster so i uh i went ahead and got a brand new spinometer cable which you just saw i ripped the old one out and um a thing I like to do you can find a bit like um, there's an Allen bit that'll fit kind of halfway decent in the back of that to spin it but um, 
what I'll do a lot of times is take the old cable and I'll just cut the, the tip of it off and just put it in the back of your speedometer like that, okay? With a, with a cordless drill. And as you can see, it works fine. It doesn't skip. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that speedometer head, so. One thing leads to the other, if this, if, if this cable right here doesn't fix my issue, I know that my speedometer is good. Um, I checked it. I took it loose out of the transmission uh, before I pulled the cable out and I hooked my drill up to it. And I spun it from underneath the car and watched it and uh, it skipped. So I knew that, you know, if I know with this going in the back directly, it doesn't skip. Um, and it does skip through the old cable underneath the car, then I know the problem's got to be in the cable. So just a little tip, if you uh, don't want to chase your tail on trying to figure out if the speedometer head's bad, because they do go bad. Um, there's two little wings on the back of that. And I'll, uh, I, I, I recorded a, a little snippet of video. I might try to put that in. If I do, I'll put it in here and, uh, and um, try to explain that. But so anyway, um, the reason, and that's a common problem, anybody that's had a Fox body. So I was told, I was talking to um, Matt, the guy that owns Fox Resto. Uh, it's been years ago, probably five, six, seven years ago at uh, one of the Ford swap meets I used to go to all the time before I moved. And I was asking him about that, and he said it's a it's a common issue, um, mostly with five speed cars, and that's what I have is a five speed, uh, five liter five speed coupe. And he said that you see it more on those than um, auto cars because the speedometer cable hole is moved to a different position because the clutch cable hole, and I guess it puts it on a weird angle, and which in turn. Um, those two magnets it'll it'll torque the cable will torque the back of the speedometer head and it'll throw the gaps of that magnet off so um those magnets turn a wheel that's on the back of that meat needle and that's what pulls it to uh, to make your needle work so he said you know it's a common thing that probably more than likely if a cable doesn't fix it then it's just your speedometer head so if you run into that and um and you want to test it or if you uh, are gonna buy a speedometer head off somebody, I recommend that, that you do that. Just like what I showed you, just cut that little end off, put it on a drill and check it, you know. Cause I don't know, there used to be years ago, there used to be a company that you could send those to and have them fixed, but I don't know that anybody does it anymore, so. But anyway, so we know that my speedometer is good. Um, we know my cable should be good. It's all greased, ready to go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna throw this in. Um, I'm gonna try to get it in today. I'm running out of time, so if not, we'll finish it up tomorrow. But I'll, uh, I'll bring you back and we're gonna go for a ride around the block and see if this actually fixes it. So, catch you later. Well, it has just a slight bit of, of a flutter, but I'm not really concerned about it. It's a hundred times better than what it was. And like I said earlier, um, at most, I'm not going to have this cluster in here. Uh, basically, it's going to get me through this summer and then fall. And uh, it's coming out and if, to switch for something else. So I just wanted to um, try to make it a little bit better and just confirm that this Speedo head was good, which I know it is. It's probably just in the routing a little bit. Just my standalone the expansion harness for the computer runs right in through there so the cable has to take a kind of a weird angle so um not really much i can do about that it's it's just you know the way it's coming out of the firewall it's just probably flexed up against the housing just a little bit but um good enough for me and we're gonna leave it at that so uh thanks for watching um if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Later.
right guys well um it's next day and uh, getting ready to take it for a spin i just got the cluster all back in and um go ahead and start this thing up and just go around the block uh see if the speedometer's fixed so let's start it up 